What is up everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hope you all are having a great day. I'm finally back from my vacation. So this is the first video in a while that's not going to be pre-recorded. So I figured we'd do something a little special. I haven't done a top five video in quite a long time. And by far I'm one of my most popular top five videos is the top five best guns. However, one of the terms search that I see often is the best rifle in the Hunter Call of Wild. Like people want to know what is the best rifle in this game. And that is a question I'm here to answer today. So today we're gonna to be going over the top five best rifles in the Hunter Call of the Wild. All right, and so the number five rifle on this list is going to be the Scurry LRR 338. This is a fairly new rifle coming to the game. It was in the Hunter Power Pack that came out, wasn't it last year in like the early spring or whatever. Regardless, this weapon is definitely quite the beast. Um, it has a massive punch that it carries behind it. As you can see, when we take a Plains Bison, um, he should start going down and there we go. I mean, definitely the biggest round um, in the game that's not, you know, the little bit more rounded. Um, it's the biggest long range round, we'll say, because the 470 is bigger, but this gun is the biggest long range round. Um, the only reason this gun isn't higher on the list, it's fairly large and clunky. Um, it takes up five units of space in the uh, inventory. So, you know, it's definitely a little harder to carry around. And I'll show you, when you do fire this gun, it has a really long animation of that big, massive bolt um, cocking back and forth before it's able to fire another round. So sometimes you're ready to fire another round and there's not another round chambered yet. Um, that's the only thing negative about this gun, but man, does it pack a punch. And as you can see right here, here's our Plains Bison. And it was able to get pretty far into a single lung at 262 meters. Like that's a really far shot. And with just a single lung shot, I mean, it was brought down, you know, fairly quickly. I mean, you're not expected to go down instantly, but it did go down relatively quickly. We didn't have to do very much tracking. So, you know, very good gun if you want to pack a punch, just sometimes a little cumbersome to carry. All right, and the number four weapon on this list is the M1 Iwaniak, chambered in 30-06. This rifle is an absolute beast, especially when, you know, going after some medium-sized game. It is fantastic for your whitetail or fallow deer grinds. This gun will do literally everything that you need it to. Uh, since it's semi-automatic, you can get some pretty fast follow-up shots. Uh, not as fast as for, say, maybe the 308, but this gun does a phenomenal job. Like I said, you can see it brought that guy down without a single problem. Uh, this gun is absolutely fantastic. It does have slightly more penetration than for, say, the 308, uh, so it may be able to punch through a shoulder blade just a little bit better. Though, like I said, the follow-up speed it's just a little bit slower, but sometimes I honestly prefer uh, the M1 myself because that little bit of extra time allows me to get on target a little quicker. Sometimes with a 308, I shoot and I'm still a little off target because it shoots so fast. Um, but the M1, it's a little bit older, uh, but it has, just like some other weapons, been tried and proven uh, as a fantastic gun for your inventory. And as you can see right here, Take a look at this. We got the heart shot all the way through the front leg. We didn't even hit a lung, but it busted all the way through that front leg to get to the heart and just drop this fallow deer. So, you know, that's just how good this gun is. It doesn't even have to be a perfect shot, and it's still going to bring that animal down. You don't have to worry about it one single bit. This gun is going to do exactly what you need it to, especially, like I said, on a grind or even just running around in multiplayer. All right, and for our number three weapon, we have the 300 Canning Magnum. This gun is a beast. It has been around 
for quite some time. Uh, we have proven its worth over and over again. It is a phenomenal weapon, uh, especially very good at taking down these larger animals. Uh, it does a good job at distance. That bison, you know, should start going down just like that. Um, very comparable to the 338 in power. Uh, the main thing that it has going for this gun is that its follow-up shots are a little bit faster. It doesn't have as big of a bolt to pull back. Also, it takes up a lot less space in your inventory. So, you know, if you'd like to carry more weapons with you on a hunt, this gun is definitely the one to take as your big game rifle because, like I said, you'll be able to maximize your space a whole lot better than if you're carrying that big clunky 338. All right, and as you can see, this Plains Bison went down without any troubles, and we were able to get quite a lot of penetration on that shot, sending the lung at 245 meters out. And I wonder what our actual quick kill was on this one. Right around the same, 23%, very similar to what we got with the 338. But like I said, this gun gets the job done, takes up a little bit less space, and it is definitely worth it. If you get the Yukon Valley DLC, you can get the 300, I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic rifle. All right, and our number two rifle on the list is the Zarza 10 308. This rifle, introduced with the modern weapons pack, is an absolute beast. It is fantastic for all the grinding that you're going to be doing. Uh, as you can see, it, I'll show it off right here. We're going to take out that fallow deer right there. And he's going to go down without a problem. Just like that, you got your fallow deer. But take a look at this. This is the coolest thing about this gun. Look how fast the follow-up shots are. You know, if you screw up the first shot, you're going to be able to get off the second one. There is no doubt about it. It is a lot faster um, than the uh, 30-06, the M1. You know, you're going to be able to get off shots a little bit faster. It does have slightly less penetration, but the ammo stat for 30 out 6 is 45 penetration. The ammo stat for the 308 is 44. So it's not that much of a difference. And I think it makes up for it in the speed. Uh, it is still, to this day, my favorite grinding rifle. I use it uh, for all my white tail and fallow deer grinds. Uh, it's just proven itself that it can do exactly what I want it to. Even a flesh hit uh, from the 308 will still bring down any animal that you hit that is a class four so you know even if you hit the animal it's still going to go down and you're going to get your response and the 308 is also fairly light um, it only weighs in at around three and a half units so it doesn't take up a ton of space in your inventory kind of just like the 30-06 but i mean you can take a look at this punches right through that front leg bone and into the lungs right there without a problem i mean that is 256 meters and that fallow deer he didn't stand a chance. So this gun is phenomenal. Definitely recommend using it. Makes the modern weapons pack entirely worth it. All right, and it wouldn't be top five without an honorable mention. And today's honorable mention is gonna be the Vibrant 22 LR. This gun is great for one big thing, and you can do the 22 trick with this rifle. So if you have an animal, like that red deer right there, don't have a great angle, but I want to get a better one. You know what you can do? You can take the 22 and you can fire it over there near them. And guess what? They go alert, but they don't flee. So you can now get a heart shot right there. I'm not going to do it because, you know, I had the 22. I wasn't going to kill them. But this gun is great for that reason. Also, it is a class one rifle. So, you know, if you have a level three duck sitting out that way you don't want to try and sneak up on it with a shotgun or a rabbit something like that and you want to get it at a little bit longer range without having to sneak up this gun is perfect but it also won't spook everything around you which is great you know these deer they have no idea i even shot this thing if i wanted to get a better angle on one of these animals i would just shoot over there by it and they'd go alert and then I could get the better angle that I needed. That is why I had to put this gun here on the honorable mention. I could not make the best rifle list without having this gun. And as it's not one of the top five, I had to make it an honorable mention. All right, and we are down 
to the number one rifle in the entire game. And it is the Malmer 7mm. This gun is a class 4 to 9. Okay, so you can take, you know, medium sized game like Whitetail and Fallow Deer, you can take Red Deer, and you can take all the way up to the class 9 animals. This gun revolutionizes any loadout that you want to make. You know, you can take this gun and then just have a whole bunch of small game weapons because it is phenomenal. Look how fast it brings down that class six red deer right there. I mean, just absolutely smoked. The big animal, the, uh, the medium sized game, like whitetail, fallow deer, they get instant drop. Even a single long shot can nearby an instant drop these guys, okay? And it does a really good job of um, bring down the class 9 animals um, does not bring them down quite as fast as the 300 or the 338 but that's you know to be expected but it does still bring them down without having to track them too super far so you know it gets the job done and it can completely change your loadout it is very very powerful um, it is just you know it's the best all-around gun in the entire game without a question of a doubt it is absolutely amazing it will do everything that you want it to do look at the penetration we were able to get both lungs at 232 meters away and bring down this red deer with a hundred percent quick kill okay not a lot of rifles could do that and be able to take what is it like 60 percent of the animals in the game maybe more can be taken with just that rifle alone I mean, that's incredible. So, you know, it's best rifle in the game by far, without a doubt. There is the, you know, the break action 7mm, and it had always been one of my favorites. But now that it's in a bolt action, you can get follow-up shots. You can do all that stuff. You can use it for grinding. It is fantastic. It is also a part of the modern rifle pack along the, not the modern rifle pack, I'm sorry. Correction, the Hunter Power Pack. Not the Modern Rifle Pack, the Hunter Power Pack, along with the Siguri 338. That pack, one of the best buys you can get in this game. Totally recommend it. Uh, if, even if you just use the 7mm, it will be 100% worth it. So guys, with all that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. hope you found it very helpful. Um, what rifles do you like to use? I'm very curious to hear from... The rest of y'all down in the comments below please let me know which rifle is your favorite and which one you know do you like to use when you're just going out on a hunt or do you prefer it for grinding whatever it may be i'd love to hear from you down below with that said hope you all enjoyed the video hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you next time